Hey guys, it's George and in this video I'm doing a review of an iPhone or iPad Touch app called Drag Racer Pro Tuner. I'm going to use my iPad to review the app, but it won't matter. I'll use the iPhone size so I won't scale the app uh, bigger so you won't see any pixelated uh, images or anything like that. Uh, the point of the app is uh, it's a racing game, but you don't actually steer a car or you're not like in a first person uh, driver's seat or anything like that. Um, it's like a drag racing game. Uh, you have two cars which are moving uh, parallel, and you have to yours on yours is the one on the bottom. And you have to customize your app to make it go faster and uh, beat the one at the top. So um, the app is three dollars on the App Store. I think it's a very good price because the app never finishes. There's no like campaign or storyline. Uh, you just have to go racing in faster and faster cars and you can customize your car's engine, all the internal components and your car design, the decals, the color and stuff like that. So here goes the review guys. Okay guys, so here I have my iPad. I'm going to open up Drag Racer Pro Tuner. As you can see the app is from XMG Games or Studios. Um, there we go. As you can see the app is an iPhone or iPod Touch app so it's not for the iPad but if I maximize it like this you can see the graphics look very nice uh, the only thing that looks a little bit pixelated is the text but that's not a big issue but I'll just show you the iPhone version so you can see it a little bit better so I'm gonna continue tilt the game and actually I can't I'll just flip my iPad uh, there we go. So the first thing we can do is uh, go to the garage and change our car. Um, then we can race with our car. We can choose uh, how much we want to bet on the race. So moving this slider right here. Um, then we can choose how long we want the race to be. Quarter mile, half mile or one whole mile. Uh, we can upgrade our car, sorry about that, we can upgrade our car physically, like all the engine parts, and we can also um, tune up the car, like for example the downforce, stabilizer, boost pressure, tire compound, and gear ratios. We can edit the paint and stuff like that, change some parts, we can show off our car, take a few pictures of it, uh, we can go to the store and buy a few in-app purchases. We can uh, use Open Find to um, for the leaderboards and stuff like that. Um, I'm just gonna show you how the race goes. So I'm just gonna choose a pretty big wage. There we go. I'm gonna choose half a mile. And I'm gonna start the race. So as you're gonna see right now, you have a gas right here, the speed, and the gearbox right here with my finger, which I'm using to go through and then this button this red button right here is like the nitro the boost whatever you want to call it so the main point of the game is to reach the finish line first and then you win money now one thing that I found a little bit awkward is that when you lose you don't actually lose money but when you win you do win money so that's pretty much it for this app I mean there's not much to say it's a very basic uh, racing game you don't steer the car or you don't uh, actually drive the car, you only accelerate and that's pretty much it. But the app is actually very addictive, I mean I didn't think it would be addictive. Um, but when I played it I did like 20 races all together and after that I got a little bit bored. But overall the game is very fun, it's very nice. And if you have an iPhone or iPod Touch it's uh, highly recommended. If you have an iPad I think you should wait for maybe an iPad version or... Um, whatever you want to do. So that's about it for this video guys. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe and follow me on Twitter for real time updates. Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.